Okay, 2005 Yamaha 660 Raptor. Back brake pads change. First thing you gotta do is a cover that goes over the back brake fluid on the reservoir. You gotta take this off. There's two bolts. If you see in the cover, the bolts come from the side. Take that cover off, take the cap off because if your brake pads are worn down, the fluid has been pushed all through the line. You have to untake the cap, you have to take the cap off because we're gonna push the caliper back in, which then pushes the fluid back up. I just pushed the piston back in. My reservoir was empty because my brake pads were so low. After you take the two 12 millimeter offs holding the caliper on, you slide that caliper off then you you loosen the 212 millimeters here which has a tab on there it's a tab that holds the brake pads oh if i can find it right now where's that tab uh, oh man. anyways where's that tab okay it's right there this metal tab folds over the bolts this way they don't rattle loose when you're riding now these 12, this is a 12 millimeter, went in the top and the bottom. Take the caliper off. Then you take these two 12 millimeters out. Take, which those are pins. Those are just slides that slide the brake pads back and forth. So you're gonna loosen them. The brake pads will fall out. Now if you put one brake pad back in on the inner one, then push these slides. When I say slides, these bolts back in to hold it get yourself a c-clamp and wedge it onto the caliper like that and i just you twist it down you rotate it in as you rotate the c-clamp and you push the you push that in that way when you tighten it it closes that pushes the brake pad back then you have to take this off here Ugh. take this off Okay, take the 12s back out on the pad. Now, you do it with the pad to be safe because you don't want to damage the inside here. That piece was just a, it's a cylinder, it's a piston itself that pushes in and out, but you don't want to damage that. So use your old brake pad. Look how worn my brake pad was. That was old. And here's new. Look at all that meat. Look at the meat difference. It was down to nothing. And that's how I bought the quad. I didn't ride it like that myself. So now I'm going to have to... There's a spring in there to push that up. And then put this one in. And then put these 212 slides back on. Along with the, um, the stopper. You gotta put that underneath first and do the reverse order tighten that back up and then you have to bleed the brakes which you would after you put this back on you slide that over the disc rotor open the pads so they're open and you slide it over the rotor because the pads you want to get it open slide it over put the 212s back in then right here it looks like a 10 millimeter or an 8 you take this rubber cap off and you will step on the brake pedal five times, crack that loose, fluid will come out, and then retighten it, pump on it again five times, crack it loose, and then retighten it. You're just getting the air bubbles out. Okay? Very easy. This is pretty easy. Not too complicated. Subscribe, guys. I'm just going to get started. This is new to me, the YouTube but I got all sorts of cool things. 660 Raptor, tractors, backhoes, excavators. Just cool stuff, man. All right, subscribe.